Hello, so I'm going to be doing a review for Solitaire. I will try my best to, um, I will try my best not to talk about anything triggering, but just as a disclaimer, um, big parts of this book are depression, suicide, and eating disorders. So if you do not like those topics. Do not read this book. Um, it is incredibly sad. <laughs> go, if you want a happy-go-lucky book, go to the first three volumes of Heartstopper. Okay, now I'm going to move on from that because I don't want to talk about it anymore. And yeah, there are always spoilers. Um, so this one is all about Tori, Charlie's sister, and it is surprisingly really good. It was Alice Oseman's first book she ever wrote, and I, I learned later that she was only 17 when she wrote it, because I did some research over this book before I started reading. I don't even know why. Um, I think it, I, oh, I remember. I was just confused as to, like, what to read next, so I did some research on it. Um, and yeah, it was, it was, it was a good book. Very dramatic and sad, but it was good. Um, <laughs> I listened to the audiobook, which I think is the original version. I know she made some revisions to it. I do not know what those are. Like I said with my This Winter video, I do not live in a place where I can access these books. So I have to listen to them on audiobook. And I don't know why, but they do not sell them where I live. <laughs> or they're not at they're not at the library. So I there was like I looked everywhere. There was no place for me to access this other than audiobook. So I was like, okay, guess now I'm listening to it on audiobook. And I just found this old recording on YouTube. I uh, go check it out. It, it was, I think, like, nine hours, so it took me a week to listen to the whole thing, but it was, it was good. I liked it. Um, it was a good recording. Yeah, you can just find it. I'm sure it's very simple. Um, and I was like, okay, going into this, I knew it was going to be sad. Like, people had given me that disclaimer. Um... The one thing I was surprised is, um, I was expecting less Nick and Charlie. I was very happy that we got more Osmonds. Um, another thing is, I love Michael Holden. He's great. <laughs> um, like, I don't... Michael Holden is a wonderful character, and I think him and Tori make such a great pair. It's, it's, it's so good. It was so good. Um, I love their friendship. It's so fun. Like, it's exactly what Tori needs, and it's very good. I also, the fact that he's a skater. Okay, I'm terrible at skating. All my friends are like, you can do it. You can do it, boo. And I'm like, no. <sighs> no. I went with a choir I'm a part of, and I embarrassed myself. Afterwards, I said, you're all wonderful, but if you ever invite me again, I'm never coming. And the fact that my body hurt three days afterwards because I fell down so much, I fell down and hit my head in the, <laughs> the room was spinning for like 15 minutes. Um, I, I'm not, not 15, five minutes. I'm a little exaggerating, but still, uh, that's probably not good, and that kind of ruined my experience. <laughs> my friends are lovely. Thank you for inviting me. But no, I am good staying in my room and watching movies and reading books and doing reviews for you guys or playing musical instruments. Um, one thing. Just out of curiosity, if you watched my Valentine's Day video, I sang. Would you guys like more content like that? Because I, 
uh, it kind of scares me to do it because it, they always get copyrights right. But would you guys be interested in that? Let me know. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, just forget about it. Moving on. Okay. Um, going back to Solitaire, though, I really did love this. It was, it was such a fun book. Lucas. Hmm, let's talk about Lucas. Lucas was a problematic um um he was obsessed with tori i will not say it was love it was obsession and it was scary and i do not like him and he scares the crap out of me yes at the end he he was slightly better but i really do wish he had more consequences for his actions because uh yeah, starting a whole entire undercover thing because you think your friend, your, your, your lover is, um, uh, depressed is not good. Do not do it, especially if you're not even dating her and have not seen her for years. That's freaky. That's scary. That's, like, psycho. <laughs> oh my god. Just when they, I, I was expecting it. I was like, oh, it's going to be Lucas. Because there's no way it's going to be Michael. If it was Michael, I would have been so mad. And Becky just would not have made any sense. And Ben, why would Ben do that to himself? Because there's a thing where, like, Ben is a well-known homophobe. Which he is. I don't know if he's well-known, but he is a homophobe. Ben makes me so mad. I hate Ben. Um, moving on though, I, I think, I don't even remember, I might not have touched on it in the comics in this TV show because I was so excited about Nick and Charlie and Tao and Elle, but, you know, maybe I did, but I hate Ben, like, so much. What he did to Charlie is terrible and makes me so mad. Moving on. Um, and so, like, he couldn't have been in it. So I was like, Lucas is basically the only option. Because they're not going to do that to Nick and Charlie and not bring it up in, like, Cardstop or something. And, yeah, they, they're not going to do that. And guess what? It was Lucas. And he was, he's, he's so weird. And then at the end, they're, like, hinting at a relationship with Becky, which is so weird. And, I, like, if one of my friends did that, I would probably be like, ah, you're lovely, but see you later. You freaked me out. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but, but, but don't do that. Don't do that. As a girl, do not do that. That just makes them uncomfortable. Yeah. Um, okay. Oh, what else? What else? <sighs> the things that really come to mind are the sad parts, and I do not want to talk about it. Just so. Michael and, um, Michael and Tori's relationship and how it evolves is very good. Um, and the little fights they have are kind of stupid, but, you know, they get over it. And that's, it's, it's a good sign of a healthy relationship with, which is nice. Like, it's, it's kind of stupid because they, like, get over it so fast, but, you know, it, it's still good. Um, what else? What else? Should I talk about it? I'm not. Um, the whole part with Charlie's eating disorder is devastating. With when Nick and him have a fight, and it's devastating. It, like, and then the thing with Tori's. It was done very well, but it was incredibly sad, and yeah, I'm not going to talk about it anymore. Um, I just thought I had to bring it up, because it is by far the most memorable part of this book. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's just... It's just like incredibly sad, but also the sometimes there's like some hints of rainbows, and then most of it's just dark and sad. So the best thing I've heard like someone talk about this is like Heartstopper is like rainbows with a hint of sadness, and then there's Book Four, which is like a lot of sadness, and then there's Solitaire, which is 
it, which is sadness, with 1% rainbow. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but it, it's like, it's still a, it's a really good book. I would recommend it. Um, it's a good time. If you like Heartstopper, what, um, go ahead and read this. But don't expect, like, the same vibe at all. Be prepared for a completely different book um, than, like, This Winter or Heartstopper. Um, it's just a completely different vibe. But I'm going to end it there um, because I don't really have a whole lot to say other than go ahead and read it. It's a really good time. It's just incredibly sad. Um, so yeah, that's it with that. I hope you're gonna, you're having a wonderful day. I love you all 3000 and please stay safe. Bye guys.